Hola, it's Stephanie and welcome back to my channel. Happy New Year to everybody! I have started the year with uploading some Japan vlogs and this time I am going to have a sit-down video for you guys. We are already back here in Kagyan de Oro and of course I cannot forget to do a haul video so that is what I am going to do today. I actually have quite a lot to show you guys and I think I will break it into two parts. In this video I will be sharing with you guys all the food I Items that I got in Japan so if you guys want to know what I got then keep on watching I hope you guys give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel down below click that red button and of course if you want to be notified every time I upload a video please click that bell button so your phone will ring every time I upload a video let us get on with the Japan haul I am just going to show you guys um, these items randomly whichever I am going to pick up I am going to talk about it so the first item that I got is furikake furikake is sort of like a rice topping as you can see in the picture so it's a flavoring that you put on top of your rice so it is going to taste good this one is chicken flavored as you can see there were other flavors out there there was beef I think seafood and I don't know the rest but yeah I got these so I'm going to try it out I don't know if it's like MSG or something I got this in Don Quixote for probably 98 yen I'm not sure I don't think I can remember all the prices of these items but yeah the next item is this one it looks like a waffle it looks crunchy it says it's Zerapis Gallet? Gallet? I don't know. But yeah, I got this in one of the supermarkets in Kobe. Uh, I just wanted to try it out. It looks super good. And yeah, I'm going to eat one pack after I film this. The next item is curry. When we were in Japan, I love their curry. I would buy plain curry sauce with rice only. So when I went to Don Quixote and I saw these packs, I definitely bought some. They're the golden curry. I think I saw these um, packs in It's Judy's Life. I'm not sure because Benji is part Japanese so he loves making curries and I think whoops 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 I think I saw this kind of curry they used it so I am going to give this a try whenever I cook and yeah my mom actually wanted to try it out as well so I bought four packs I think you can find this in the Philippines but it is way cheaper if you buy in Japan so if ever you go there you go and buy the next item is this one I'm not sure if you can read everything but I know it is Kobe pudding it is actual pudding and I'm so so clumsy so yeah this pudding so there are two um, pudding packs or whatever inside and I have not tried it yet I have not tried any Kobe pudding so I'm going to eat this soon and I will probably film some stuff like trying out this stuff for the first time so yeah this was I think 500 something yen for two pieces and it will expire in February, so I'm still good. I'm going to eat this soon. The next item is green tea. It is green tea with matcha, and it is the leaves type. It has instructions on how you use it. Oh, there's actually English uh, translation, so that is very good. But here in the front, not that much. It's only this one, green tea with matcha. The next item is also a matcha. Thingy. so it's matcha with milk already and it is in the powder form so I think you just have to add hot water with it and you are good to go the next item I found very very interesting because we don't have this flavor of Pringles here in the Philippines so I got it it is quite expensive uh, 600 or 700 yen for a pack of three so I got this type of Pringles it is actually takoyaki flavor I told myself that 
I already got umai with takoyaki, but I'm still going to try this one. So it comes in three cans, but it is a very small one. It's not like the big kind of Pringles. So yeah, I'm also excited to try this out. The next three items are small packages and I got them from Muji. The Muji there is actually very nice. We only went to one store. Yeah, we only got to go to one store which was in Nagoya or Kyoto, I believe. We did not get to go back to any Muji stores and I kind of regretted it but Oh well, at least I got some stuff when we were there. So these are the three items that I got from Muji. When we came back here in the Philippines, we actually went to the Muji store in High Street and they don't have food items there anymore. So I was kind of bummed. Uh, they only had a few food items, but then in Japan, there are quite a lot of food items that they have. They actually have like soup um, broths, I think in powder form or something like that. So when you go to Japan, check out any Muji stores. From Muji alone, you're gonna go crazy. So I got these three snack items. The first one is matcha chocolate coated wheat puff. I was kind of bummed that I only got one pack. I think this is good. It looks good because, I don't know, it just looks good. And then the next one is pretzels, actually. I got pretzels in sour cream and onion flavor. The pretzels that I really like is from Snyder's, which is the honey mustard. I think it was honey mustard flavor, so that is my favorite type of pretzel. But I'm going to try this out because I also love sour cream and onion. And the last is this one. It is seaweed roll rice crackers. So it is rice crackers with seaweed in it. I think I've tried something like this but not the Muji type and it was actually okay. I think there's a soy sauce flavor. It tastes like soy sauce-ish. The next item is this one. I got it from Kobe as you can see. It's from Kobe. I'm not really sure what it was. I was just very curious and I bought it. So it says here, I think it's French toast flavor. So that is... As I imagine, it will taste good. I will let you guys know what it is inside when I open it. The next one is an item that you can actually find in the Philippines, but it is expensive compared to buying it there. So I actually bought a box. So it is this one, the Tokyo Milk Cheese Factory. It is the salt and camembert flavor. I actually bought this in the airport already uh, coming home. It was 1,400 yen, so around 600 something pesos only for 20 pieces. Uh, you can actually buy one box of 10 pieces here for around 500 pesos. So it is very, very affordable compared to buying it here in the Philippines. And I thought we could only buy this in Tokyo, but I actually got lucky and found it in the Osaka or Kansai airport. So yes, I've been craving for this one and I can't wait to eat some. Actually, it is already opened because my siblings got some. They wanted to try it out as well and they love it and I love it too. So we got the 20 piece box. The next item I am very excited to try because it was the best ramen that I have tried in Japan and they had it in instant ramen form. So we got the Ichiran Ramen Instant Noodle Pack. It has five servings inside. I got this in Don Quixote actually. So if you are in Japan and you want to buy the Ichiran uh, Instant Ramen, Purchase it in Don Quixote because it is cheaper compared to buying it in the Ichiran store itself. That is my tip and I cannot wait to try this. I know the flavor will be a little different from what we really tried in the restaurant itself but they say that for an instant ramen it is very good so I cannot wait to try this out and I will probably film it too. The next items are like one of the popular chocolate brands in Japan and it is Royce. I got it in the bar form and not the other one which was more expensive. 
But yeah, I got it in creamy milk chocolate and white chocolate. So those are my two favorite um, flavors of chocolate. So I got five pieces. So three white chocolate and two um, milk chocolate. I mean, two creamy milk chocolate. My brother has opened one of his bars and I got to try it out as well and it was very very good very very creamy and it's not too sweet so Royce has been one of our favorite chocolate brands and buying it straight from Japan uh, uh, I don't know I'm just speechless and the last item I don't know how many flavors I got let me check I got eight flavors of Kit Kat and I will show you guys the flavors that I got. So the first one is this one. Kit Kat Sake flavor. So I do not know how this will taste like. I actually tasted sake when we were in Japan. I'm not sure if I filmed that. I don't think I did. So we will try it out in Kit Kat form. The next flavor is Kit Kat Uji Matcha. Uji Matcha is the most famous type of matcha in the Kyoto region. I don't know what their region is called but in Kyoto. I will try this out. Hopefully it is very very good. From this kind of box it only has 12 pieces inside. I am going to savor every bite I get. The next flavor is this one. Uji Hojicha. I don't know. So I think it is tea flavor as well. And yeah, I'm excited to try this out. The next Kit Kat flavor is this one. It is Kobe Pudding. At first, I was hesitant to purchase this one in Kobe. But then when we went to Osaka, I found it once again. And I just said to myself, I had to buy it. So there, Kobe Pudding. I'm not sure if this has the same flavor as this Kobe Pudding. But maybe we can test out the difference. The next Kit Kat flavor is this. It is Amazake. Uh, it is a fermented rice drink as per our research. I actually tasted one of this. Uh, my sister opened her pack and it tasted kind of like white chocolate but then there's this hint that you get. I don't know, it's just a different flavor from regular white chocolate. So I think that was the difference. The next one is this one. I think it is also green tea or matcha, but it is a more common uh, matcha flavor. These two are the same flavor. It's also green tea or matcha or something like that. But the packaging looks different, so I think it is a different flavor. So I also got them. And the last Kit Kat flavor is this one. It is actually Hokkaido melon flavor. Where's the English? Oh, it's here. Hokkaido melon. We also got this one in the airport. We found this flavor in the airport only. And my sister and I are going to split this into two. In this box, there are 10 small boxes inside. So I think all in all, it has 30 pieces of Kit Kat and it is mini size. So I cannot wait to try it. I love melon. I'm not sure how Hokkaido melon really tastes like but yeah. So that is it for the first part of my Japan haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it and stay tuned for part two if you guys like skincare and stuff like that because that is what I'm going to show you in my next video. I hope to see you guys then. Stephanie out.